some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Taco Terry as he attempts to drop off some legal document and he ends up getting in a confrontation with somebody who touches his camera and he whines and cries about it, of course. Yeah, cry me a river, please. Oh, but there's an added bonus as well. You see, the building has restrictions on filming, and he refuses to turn off his uh, camera, gets trespassed, and arrested. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Paper. What would you mean if they hadn't accepted the paper? They have to. There has to be an agent of the state here to accept legal documentation during business hours on a business day. They're, they can't just, they can't refuse to accept legal documentation. There has to be somebody here to accept it. What's his name? I'm gonna need his information, because like I said, he attacked me. Melissa, Lou, how y'all doing? So I'm down here back at the uh, Calvert County Health Department. I walked in, I asked for the gentleman champ who was here last time and gave me permission to film. That door's normally wide open. There's also cameras in there. He went back there. So when I got over here, as soon as I got over here, this gentleman actually followed me in the building. He said that I matched a description of somebody else that he had a picture of, but then also said that he didn't get a clear look at me. So I'm not quite sure how I matched a description when he didn't get a clear look at me. Anyway, I asked for Champ to come out so I could drop off this letter of intent to sue that I'm here to drop off to them. And he came out with the health director, Dr. You said Pulaski? Pulaski, something like that. And the guy came out and actually attacked me, tried to grab my camera uh, when I took a step back and informed him that that was actually assault. And if he attempted to do it again, I would defend myself. Oh, did your poor little camera get touched? Is it okay? Does it need some cookies? Sorry, Terry, but I would offer you some cookies. But you're just too much of an asshole. So in the words of so many other frauditors, go kick rocks. He turned and had this lady call 911 and act as if I was out here causing the disturbance, even though he just attacked me. So now they're trying to say that this public lobby of this public building is somehow protected by HIPAA. And that uh, they're, they're calling the state's attorney to confirm that it's protected by HIPAA because apparently the state's attorney makes the laws now. Wow, are you really that stupid? Well, that's a rhetorical question because yes, you are. I mean, the state's attorney does not determine what the laws are. He, they just research what the laws are. And if that building is covered by HIPAA laws, then you are most likely violating HIPAA regulations by recording in there. And as you will hear later on, there are signs posted all over the place, but he's not going to show them, of course. And of course, we know that uh, Taco Terry shows little to no respect for HIPAA laws at all. He doesn't care about patient confidentiality. So, again, I literally was here to drop off a piece of paper and I'd be gone by now. It's a 30 second interaction i'm not quite sure why when the guy came out here to get the piece of paper he decided to attack me but yeah you're not allowed to grab people's shit that's what i'm saying hippo is for them i have no obligation to, to for any of that but this is a public lobby well i guess you don't have any obligation to be a decent human being i guess which makes me wonder something about you, Taco Terry. Let me ask you a question. Anyway, how is your sex life? Given your nasty attitude, I would suppose it's non-existent. This is at the Calvert County Department of Health. So this is a healthcare facility? Yeah, so they are protected by HIPAA, you moron. Not that you care about that kind of thing. So my camera's actually got this really cool technology. GoPro released this update recently, a firmware update, where it's got a HIPAA filter. So like any health like information, it automatically just like bleeps out and blurs out. It's a great new, uh, it's great technology. 
Citation needed. Citation needed. Citation needed. Citation fucking needed. I can smell the bullshit all the way from Florida. And that's quite an achievement right there. Absolutely, I'm gonna get that footage. Yes, I am. So, sir, we spoke to the state attorney's office for Cowboy County, mm -hmm. and you're saying that this building is protected and you cannot. It's not protected. Anyway. It's a public building. Well, that's what we're letting you know. Okay. So, if you don't stop, then you're going to be charged. Okay. 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 So, what would you like to do? I'd like to drop off my paperwork and then go about my business. Okay, I'm not trying to stay here and film at all. Like, what part of that do you guys not get that I was attacked? Do you guys have cameras on, correct? Do you guys have your cameras on? Are you going to turn your cameras off? Are you going to go tell them to turn the camera behind that door off that's on right now in this public lobby? When I walked in, Sir, can I, can I show you that there's a camera actually right here in this public lobby that's publicly accessible that I can access with the Public Information Act request? So how can they film in this lobby and the public access it and then them tell me that I can't film in this lobby? Okay. They're filming and it's publicly accessible. Why can I not film? Okay. So here's, here's the deal. Okay. You as a citizen, private individual coming in, uh -huh. you're not allowed to film in this building. Can you explain what law I'm in violation of? Can you explain what law I'm in violation so of, officer? We're getting directive and direction from our state's attorney. I know, but I'm asking you what law I'm in violation of. I don't have that for you right now. So you don't know what law I'm in violation I'm of, but you're telling me that I'm in violation of it. What I'm telling you is that the state's attorney uh -huh. happened, has advised that And what I'm asking you, sir. You're not allowed to film. Sir, can I get your supervisor out here, please? I am a supervisor, and this is... Okay, so you're one of the supervisors. Can I get your supervisor and or your supervisor out here? Because I'm asking you what law I'm in violation of right now, and nobody can tell me. So you're telling me that... I'm sorry. First off, are you threatening to arrest me if I don't turn my camera off? Well, first of all, I'm not threatening anything. Okay, all right, cool. None of us, no one is threatening Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. What, what, we're, what we're trying to get at with you is right, services can be refused. Anyway. I'm not here for services, sir. I'm here to drop off legal documentation. Well, they don't have a right to refuse that. Well, there has to be an agent of the state, an authorized well, agent of the state here to accept. Right now, beyond that, what we're saying is you're, you're not there, no, there's to nothing beyond, beyond that, sir. To I'm here to drop off. I'm allowed to film myself no, doing not, my legal and lawful business. We're not allowed to film some of the, what we're not going to do is we're not going to you're right. keep going. You're right. We're not. Around. You're right. We're not. We're not going around anywhere. I'm here at the counter to drop off this piece of so paper and leave. Disorderly or under Again, I'm simply asking to drop off this piece of paper and to leave. Why don't you just do that then? I've asked that multiple times. They won't. Come. When he came out here, sir, to get the piece of paper, the guy that came out with him attacked me. Like I've explained it multiple times. I'm not here to walk around the building on an audit. I was here to drop off this piece of paper and to leave. Right here? I can't. I need to give it to the legal agent, an authorized agent. That would be the gentleman champ because he specifically gave me permission to film the last time I was in this building. It's what you guys don't want to acknowledge is that I've already been given permission by the deputy health director to film in this building and all around it. He's already informed me that his staff should be trained and well known and of who what is the deputy health director? Champ Thomas Scuddy, the gentleman who came out here with Dr. Pawlowski when he attacked me, the gentleman that I've asked for this entire time that I've been here. So the gentleman who gave me permission came out here, watched the other guy attack me, not accept the paperwork and leave. So like you're, you're sitting here trying to arrest me, but yet all I'm trying to do is drop off. Okay, then let me, abide by the rules. okay, you're right. Then please abide by the rules, provide me with an authorized agent of the state during business hours on a business day to accept my legal documentation and I'll be on my way. They're probably not accepted because you're violating. It, it, no, 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 no. Okay. Sir, please. So what we're coming into, if, so right I mean, now we've asked yourself, you just look. to stop filming and leave, right? So we do have, we do have, Trespass public business during hours. Okay, so 6 409. Yeah, yeah. Okay. is the Maryland trespass so, statute. I have. Yeah, you tend to quote that in every one of your videos, and you are always wrong about it because you are always a disruptive influence to the business. So, you know what? 
I'm going to skip ahead to the part where you get arrested because I don't want this video to be above 20 minutes long. And mostly because you've got a lot of circular arguments that you just keep on going over and over. So I'm not going to subject my audience to any of that BS. But before we get to the arrest, I think we'll just show what he thinks is the assault when he tries to show the officer what it is and the officer doesn't really buy it so we'll move on immediately after that a little longer than a few minutes later hey captain maybe you want to watch this gentleman assault me we can all watch it together may i said hello to the people As you see, that door there was over the entire time. Excuse me. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. See, as I, as I was telling him, by them shutting that door, that's in a violation of 10-201, section C and D, obstruction of a public entrance way, doorway, hallway, roadway, sidewalk. Again, you're quoting laws that you have little to no understanding of, uh, just like any other frauditor. It also says in that same section that one will not act disorderly and you tend to do that all the damn time so they're actually illegally shutting that door thank you very much ma'am awesome awesome she was really cool the last time i was here too she's very nice she's very cool and very nice oh does that sound like someone causing a disturbance out here or does that sound like someone acknowledging these people were actually nice to me you guys listen to what these people say on the phone so much, and you believe everything they say so much that you'll come out here just like guns ablaze and ready to treat someone like shit. You guys have six officers out here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Touch my equipment. This is my property. This is an extension of my body, and that is assault and battery. Do not touch my property again, or I will be forced to defend myself. We want we want to run this being locked and do it again. Law enforcement. I'm gonna call law enforcement myself because you just touched my property, sir. That is not allowed. Are you a law enforcement officer? Oh, he touched your little camera. Do you want to go home and cry in your pillow, get some chocolate chip cookies and some milk? And you want your mommy to read you a bedtime story so you can fall right asleep so you can forget about that nasty old man who touched your camera? But welcome to reality, you whiny punk, because that's not going to happen. Suck it up, buttercup. Because I'm tired of listening to this whiny little punk, I will go and skip to the end because there's only so much I can take of him. Many, many minutes later. That was kind of my, like, argument to it all. Oh, okay, sir. All right, so what's Appreciate the business? What's I the just business need that guy's information so I can file those charges and coordinate with the commissioner's okay. office. So it's Dr. S. This is not a disinfection copy. Oh, well, it wasn't for you. So it's Dr. Polsky. Well, the paperwork wasn't for you. Why do you have a copy so of my... So it's Dr. Polsky. Polsky? Okay. And his birth date and his address? I need all of that information to I file charges. You, you, sir, you know I need that information to file charges to the commissioner's office. I don't have that for you. Okay, well, we're going to have to go get that because he's right here, and I just showed your captain evidence of him assaulting me in my property. Okay. Well, we don't have that for you. You can go get it. Right. We don't have that for you. So the right. Calvert County Sheriff's he's, Department he's is in dereliction of duty. When you start hearing dereliction of duty with these idiots, you're starting to get into sovereign citizen territory. But sir, you're the law enforcement officer. He's, He's legally right. obligated to give it to you. He's not providing sir, he you committed a crime. He committed a crime that you witnessed. You have the legal obligation. You did. I just showed you. I just I showed you evidence of it. Enough. I showed you evidence of it. Not witness you witnessed it on video, right? I did not. You didn't see it? I, I didn't show you my video? I saw the video. I didn't witness a crime. But you witnessed the video, correct? I did witness So then you go and you ID him. 
So let me ask you this, sir. If somebody were to commit a burglary on a Wawa across the street and you guys didn't see it, but they showed you a video, would you say, oh, I didn't see the burglary happen? They would say, no, I just showed you evidence. I just showed you video of this happening. You would take down the person's picture. You would put out an APB. Y'all are putting people's pictures out there for not paying child support on Facebook. God forbid if somebody came down here and attacked somebody, would you would put on fucking Facebook. So don't sit here and tell me you didn't witness it or that you're not legally obligated to go get his information and give you it to me. I don't. I need his birthday Dr. and his address. Use this address. I need his I birthday. Information. You can go get it by no, legally IDing him because he committed a crime. You think he did? I don't think he did. I showed I you. Observe that. I showed I you that he did. It and I don't agree with I showed you that he did. I saw a man. It's reach not out. for you to agree at. I'm it's not you for know. you to agree I'm with, sir. You know. You're not judge and jury. I'm it's not for you know. to agree with. It's for you to go do your job that you're legally obligated to do. You're still videotaping in a restricted area. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're not videotaping. I'm not videotaping in a restricted area. You are. No, I'm not. You are. So I need his information. You need to stop videotaping in a restricted area. I'm not in a restricted area, sir. You are. I'm in the entranceway of a public lobby. Correct, which is identified by signage that says there's no, no, no videotaping. Is there some sort of law that goes around with that signage, or they just put a sign up there? Because I got a sign that says you owe me $10 every time you guys don't do your job. Is somebody going to pull out 60 bucks and hand it to me right now? And I've got a sign that says that every time you misquote laws, I get 10 bucks. But I don't think you'll be able to pay $5 million to me. Though I think we can come to a reasonable agreement that you could pay me, oh, about $1,000 a week until you get it paid off. Yeah, that should work out. No. So what's going to happen is we're not going to... Keep going. Around. I know. You're going to do your job and provide me with the information for the so, gentleman that assaulted me. Earlier, earlier, we went around and around for a while. Mm -hmm. right? And we finally allowed you to present your paperwork. Right? Which Well, you're saying allowed. Like, I need your permission to do my not, legal and lawful business. I don't need your need, permission to do my legal and lawful business, sir. To allow you. To I, do you don't have to allow me to do anything. It's my legal and lawful business. I don't need your permission to do out. it. Took the paperwork from me. Absolutely, right? they did. They also then, assaulted me. And then you left. So you have you have information you need. That you I don't. Know you have enough. I don't. To go. No. To file charges. I don't. Right? I don't you have, have his birthday. Go, you have enough to go. And no, I don't, sir. Charges. No, I don't. Right? So, what's happening now is now you're being asked. Okay, I'm being asked to leave. Okay, right? I'm being asked. You're being asked to leave. So that's a request, and I have the right to respectfully so, decline it. So if you don't leave, right, you do know that that is trespassing. No, I don't, right. because this is a public agency and I have legal and lawful you, business. You do know the laws regarding a public agency, and now you have no lawful business here. I do have legal and lawful, lawful business. I do. So, are you going to leave? Well, hold on now. Are you trying to say that before this moment that I are did, you, so are you saying that you were lying earlier that I was in violation was and that I did earlier. have legal and lawful business lying. earlier? Wasn't I lying earlier? Are you saying earlier that you were lying business, by saying I didn't have legal business and lawful business? Concluded. You don't decide when my business is you concluded. Left. You don't decide when my business is concluded, sir. You, have you don't decide business. when my business yeah. is concluded. Are you going to leave? Are you going to stop filming and leave? I don't answer questions, brother. Okay. So for the second time, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask beyond that. I'm asking you to uh -huh. stop filming and leave. And I'm asking you to provide me the proper information so that I can fire right. Let's go ahead and put your hands behind your back, please. Okay. Well, Terry boy, if stupid were a sport, you would be a superstar. But that's besides the point. In the meantime, I'm sure uh, Bubba and the boys would be only too happy to welcome you into their home.